Nyaw. How's everyone doing today? We're here. We're alive. And we're live. Welcome to our stream. Those who don't know me, I'm Black Cat. I do dungeon crawl and RPG content. Mainly Path of Exile and Power World right now. Though I haven't touched Power World for a little bit. New season has, or new league has kind of consumed me. Also. Oh. Let's see, anything else we need to do is set up. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Hi. So we got about halfway through, or no, we got a bit of the way through 90 last time. We hit 90. Uh, since then, I have also, uh, I put a little bit of time in, and we're at 91 now. Just hit it earlier today. I believe uh, our gear is about the same as it was last time. Uh, sorry for the scuffed scream stream last time, but that, that kind of sucked. I wish we didn't have so many technical difficulties, but such is life. Hi, Ron. Congrats on 91. 91 what? I, I have 95 subscribers on YouTube and 47 followers on Twitch. I'm a bit confused, but I'm sure your heart's in the right place. Oh my god. Okay, apparently I'm just not... <laughs> apparently I'm not paying enough to... Yes, level 91. Okay. For some reason I was like, you must be talking about streaming. It has to be something about streaming. <laughs> I got tunnel vision. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm glad that that's the note we're starting off today on. Also, today is a special day, and I'm going to up update the stream title to match that. Okay, stream title is updated. So today is actually my eight-year anniversary on HRT, or Hormone Replacement Therapy. Yay! I'm so happy that it's, uh... I'm so happy to have made it this far. <laughs> it took so bloody long. But yeah, this is, uh... Te technically, I'm a little bit off, but, th but this is... Eight years to the day of um, of when I first got an HRT, so I'm really, really excited about that. A lot has happened. Thank you. It was such a big deal, like the first month to me, and then after that, I just like, I guess, not got bored, but like I kind of just started to forget about it because the the. Progress was so slow that it didn't really do very much, and then I just kind of remember every once in a while that actually something was different. Because when you're already taking daily medications, like, adding a couple more pills doesn't really... isn't really much of a notable difference. But, time passed. Eight years passed. That is pretty crazy. I remember, like, when I first started seeing actual changes, too. Uh, it was... It was a very happy day. I think it was, like, in the first, like, year... I mean, okay, I started, I started noticing things within the first year, but, like, actual notable important changes didn't happen until, like, the year to two-year mark. And then things just kept rolling from there. Ugh. 
It's done most everything that I've wanted to do, too, which makes me pretty happy. Though, a weird thing that I didn't expect, and I was informed that this was a possible side effect of HRT. Uh, apparently, and I didn't believe it when I read this, your shoe size can change? Like, go down? Or at least when you're uh, on estrogen? And not on tea. And I think that happened. <laughs> like, I feel like I genuinely lost a shoe size. Which is great, because I was like 13 unisex, and now I'm more like 12 unisex. So that is much, much more manageable. A big pause. Didn't really expect how much it changes your body, though. Like, and, okay, I know it changes your body a lot. Like, that's the intended purpose. But, like, the whole redistribution of fat thing, where it's like it moves it from one place to another in your body, didn't really seem like a big deal until it started happening. It makes you a little bit less round and a lot more hourglass. Essence stuff? Yes, they're like essence stuff. I still haven't... Okay, yeah. He hasn't reset or anything. So we have one uh, yellow mission and one red mission currently. Not a huge amount. I really like to hit some of the like really low-level maps that I cannot seem to get where the dam... What I actually don't know about this game is... I wonder if doing a particular map tier helps you get maps of that tier better. If I do tier 2, am I more likely to get a tier 2 map? I don't know. Because I know that, to some extent, maps that are connected... <clears throat> to an extent, maps that are connected to each other have some sort of effect. Like, adjacent, like there's a lot of adjacent map drop things. Actually, in that case, where is... Where's Arsenal? I don't think I've ever actually... I don't think I've ever actually tried to do it this way. I kind of wish that I could try for both of these at once, but I don't think I can. Hmm. This is three connections. This is three connections. I guess we could try doing Crystal Ore and see if we get an arsenal. If we have a Crystal Ore. Yeah, we do. Oh, actually, do we have any... Do we have any photography scarabs? Oh, lots. More maps found. Okay, 100% more maps found sounds good. I don't want maps to be higher tier. I don't want a unique map to drop. Worth adding. Actually, I only have one crystal so it doesn't matter. Let's see if this is enough to... something interesting happen. Uh, what adds the most monster? Probably... 
app drops would probably be from Breach, Abyss, or... Maybe Ritual? You know what? It doesn't matter. I don't need to add a bunch of extra content. Okay, who was pack leader? You have a pack leader. Aw, uh, why does it have to be Katava Demons? Oh, Fluff, that's a lot of... A lot of Mountain Fragments. Oh wait, no, I don't want to put it for each li for each alive monster gets increased life. Fuck that. Unaffected by curses is fine. Can I replace the fucking Katava demons? That sounds awful. Here, Vol Legion is a lot less dangerous than Katava demons. Well, let's see if we can get an arsenal. Let's see if we can get some arsenal toilet water. I really want to play more of that game. An airport for aliens currently run by dogs is so good. So silly. I love it. I want to finish the game, ideally. What's going on here? I don't exactly share that sentiment, but I appreciate that you are excited for the, uh, <laughs> for the content. Ugh. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting... Oh, hello. Oh, I guess intervention popped up at some point. Cool. Okay. Um... I don't want to give it transport. I don't want to give anyone transportation intelligence. Not very. Well, I mean, actually, pushing for any safe house is probably better right now because the ideal isn't to get specific safe houses with specific things. It's to push to get Katarina. Actually, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Plus, all the links you create mean that you're more likely to see certain people. I feel like I was saying something. Eh. Oh, what I was going to say, though, is I actually changed my Alice passives a little bit, and this is super important. Uh, I've, I'm now, like, all in on June stuff. I already was fairly heavily in on June stuff, but I specifically changed things up I now go all the way up here and take Intelligence Gathering, which is you gain 10 Intelligence of the 100 that you need uh, for a random safe house every time you complete a map. So that means that we will be getting more Katarinas more quickly. Which is extremely ideal and important because Katarina now has obscenely good drops. And as we've seen with the nine div of uh, ball or ball bowler, no. nine div 
Veiled Chaos Orb, that's the word. That was pretty good. Tattoo. Tattoo Ember. So we're just going to keep pushing for that. Rather than focusing on any particular safe house or ward, we're just going to keep pushing and pushing with Katarina. I think that'll be the most efficient thing to do, money-wise. And we'll get a lot of stuff along with that. I still do want to get a Verici in research, which I already have anyways as my research head. Okay, lag. Good. Some weird lag today. Now, rather than what I'm doing, I actually could just use an Orb of Horizons. I totally just rem I totally forgot that I could use an Orb of Horizons to get the map I need. I've been like trying to think, like, how can I get this map? I guess I could also buy it, but I don't really want to spend money on a map. Oh, that was Arsenal right there. Cool. There we go. Give us a speed boost, Chuck. Honestly, I don't know if I need Huck's defenses. I could give him a dead. Well, Anchorage's expression. I've dealt with worse. I mean, quant is better than rarity, so. Fire tier plants. I don't really want to move most other things to it. I think I can replace it with, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, it's slightly better. Give me some tattoos. I haven't got anything decent from the tattoos, but eh. I've gotten like a few random ones that I might pop onto my brain. Birds. Life. Passive tree. Oh my gosh. I might pop some tattoos onto my passive tree if I need them, but. For the most part, I don't have any real intention to do so. I believe I can replace some of the dex nodes that I have with chaos res nodes eventually, and that I would love to do. I don't know how much the chaos res tattoos are this late, though. That might be more or less a pipe dream, depending. And then there's the weird shit going on with Divine Orbs. Like, why are they under 100c apiece right now? What, what the fuck happened to ruin our... ruin our uh, economy that way? Oh boy. Okay. A bit busy. Ooh. Four socket numbers. Three four socket numbers I know has value. Okay. Richie, I want you where you are. I need. I do. That's cartography. And that is B carry. I will. Back. That could be very scary. 
see if I leave Rin alone. <laughs> well, I can give intervention. Or progress. Well, I'm actually probably about to have two safe houses come up. Which is pretty good considering as I did a safe house just earlier today. We have a lot of boosts going on right now. Oh, we got to find Delirium Orb. Nice. For currency. Second best Delirium Orb out there. Selling for 90. Strength, physical damage, attack speed, and max life. Yeah, that, that's worth 90. Are delirium? Yeah, even find delirium orbs only worth four. They used to be worth like fourteen last league. They were way, way more. That's a max roll tier 1 chaos res. With rarity. Well, I mean, okay, rarity's useless, but like... Some people like rarity. How much? It might be worth something, it depends on what it's mixed. I'll have to look into that one. Okay, reforce socket numbers 200 times. That one usually is worth something. It's not worth anything. Okay. Never mind. Can I give this to you, Iramore? I, I can't just add it here. I have to go all the way to the Necropolis to do that. None of these are valuable. My junk corp. Ooh. Life regen and knockback tattoo. I'm going to want to actually do a fair bit of this map if possible. Just seeing as the tattoos are or can be worth it. Not like guaranteed worth it, but they can really be worth it. I don't want this to be happening right now. Also, my Okay, my sulfite just spit out a unique strong box. I've never <laughs> Apparently, that's an amazing, amazing keystone I've taken, that to let it spit out minor shrines, strong boxes, and tormented spirits. I mean, the tormented spirits are mostly useless, unless they just happen to be near something, but... The others are good. And tormented spirits can be good, they're just usually not. There's only a tier 2 map. Don't need. Whoa! What is with the lag today? What's going on? It's not the stream either. We've dropped 80 frames across the entire stream so far, which is nothing. 
I would be dropping thousands of frames if it was on my end. Oh boy. Okay, that should have progressed the board a bit. Um, we need one more tick. Or one more turn. Grand barrel. What what am I standing in? I think whatever I th think the things coming out of the barrel are dropping uh caustic ground. Mark of the Doubting Knight, not worth it. Patient! Yes. Yay, the patient makes the nurse, and the nurse makes the doctor, and the doctor makes headhunters. A weird chain of events. Melee hits Fortify, and another knockback tattoo. And... Torment the Spirit. Go possess something. Make yourself useful. That's a, uh, what's it called? North Wind? Berserking gem. Quality gem. Like, gemlings are terrifying, but otherwise I like. You need spell suppression or spell dodge to go up against gemlings. Otherwise, you're in danger. Oh, cool. For the lesser resistance shrine. Now to fight a sword. Well, so now to fight several swords. Not that we're really able to see what's going on. <laughs> Where's the big sword? There's the big sword. There goes the big sword. Goodbye. Uh, well, it is only tier two. Socket links, that's good, except for it's still a, we're still on a tier two. I might do the reforged sockets and socket links ones together and just try to make a six link after this with my garbage, uh, my garbage corpses. Actually, I just had a thought. So, every time you make something that is capable of being a six link, theoretically, you do have a chance at it, even if you're not putting anything in that specifically boosts the links or anything. That means that, theoretically, I could use one single corpse and try to make a chess pieces over and over. I don't know if that's a good strategy. It might it might be just a waste of time, but I kind of want to go test that. I mean, we'll be able to know for sure then once we do the test. And I have a lot of crappy corpses to use up, so... Dodger's damning. Praxis, I think? That's Praxis. That's Praxis. It's like a game to me to try to figure out the unique items just based on their their visual. I'm pretty good at it too. I play the game even when I'm not on stream. Lots of life. Nom 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 nom. I 
Uh, uh, Kikazaru. Am I done with this map? Yep. I had to steal some points from some things. I was back. Eventually. Oh, I didn't realize... Oh, I didn't realize the board ticked over again. Okay, it must not have displayed the proper turn when I looked at it last time. It must have had a turn at, at like, after my thought. Because for anyone who doesn't understand how Syndicate works, it is turn-based. Every action you take... Every, every time you interact with a set of uh, Syndicate people, you, like, if you do a research encounter, you do a fortification encounter, etc., etc., you tick the board once. Syndicate operations board. But one turn ahead. Which is what the interrogate function is, is you are basically like, I don't want this, the... I'm not going to take the information now. I'll take more information over the next few turns. You can only interrogate so many people at a time. Because you only have, quote-unquote, so many holding cells. Oh, we did this in... <laughs> we did this in a tier 2 or 3, so... Only monster level 70. That's why this is doing nothing. I guess that's fair. Still gives me 16 mastermind experience, though. I think now if I start pushing so that I'm doing, like, really high-tier maps, the Katarina will turn out to be high-tier. I believe her tier is based on the last, like, the last, uh, uh, the last map you do before her encounter comes up. So she needs, currently needs three turns before she becomes active. And it's, you can have three turns per map, assuming that you don't have any safe houses up. Safe houses can block attacking a turn. Damaging ailments. Worth anything? Right. Do I have any safe houses up right? Am I going to have... Okay, so she's going to give me 48 experience. I need 4. I need to ideally not tick over the research experience yet. I could turn a small strength passive into fire damage. Sounds like a bad plan because I'm just barely at enough strength right now. I'm using steel skin. Yeah, I'm using steel skin. It's 155 strength. If I corrupt it to level 21, which I'm going to do, it will be 159 strength. So I can only lose two. Or I have an issue. No, we're not listening to Brave Robber. Not sure how many more unveils I actually have left to get. I 
don't seem to be getting it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that was the Jorgens, that's why. There are spectral wolves. Oh, uh, you don't see any more? Don't really she has to fortify? I thought we'd see one. I don't really want to trade small strength for most of anything at the moment. Even Dex I need. I mean Grace if I if I up my Grace, my Grace is gonna be at 159 too. And I have once again 163 decks, so I can't really trade any strength or dex. If I get better if I get a better piece of gear that has more dex on it, then I probably Could work with that. Like if I have this exact, if I had this exact thing with an open suffix instead of the strength, then I could just put strength and dex on there, and then I could sack like three dex passives, like this one for example. That would actually be perfect because I could turn that into a chaos res passive. Let's check really quickly. Open the wiki. Path of Exile wiki. Uh, uh, chaos. Tattoo. Won't see the Chaos Res tattoo. Are there no Chaos Res tattoo? Not able to check for Chaos Res tattoo. What's going on here? Oh. Oh no. Is it one of the disabled ones? Or am I looking in the wrong spot? Um. No, it was one of the honored tattoos. It's dropped disabled. No. Damn it. That sucks. Yeah, there aren't... I don't think there's going to be that all that many I can pick then. That would be useful. Unless I wanted to go for, like, resistance. I don't think I really need that. Wait! No! There's an Intelligence Chaos Res tattoo. Oh, Hinakora Storyteller. I have, a, I have a decent amount of int. I don't need that much int, I don't think. Into I need... Let's see, let's open our path of building. We need a total of... 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 155. From Flame Dash. Okay, so we could tank... If we get two more int, we could tank 40. Actually, if we swap this out to the, quali the quality on here to attribute quality, so intrinsic catalyst, we could get two, we could get up to six more int on there, which would be enough that we could sack four int passives or chaos res passives. It's three chaos res per passive, so that would give us 12 extra chaos res. And they cost 15 apiece. Okay, that's doable. A fair bit, but it's doable. It's a fair bit for a single tattoo, but... Eh. 
I technically could also use the fire damage tattoos, but I don't really want to spend strength passes. I actually really need, badly need to change my rings out, because I only have 25 life on this ring, and 55 life on this ring of a potential 70 each. Okay, so we next are going to... How high can we go? We can go 12. It's to be a... We could do a 14. See, here's the thing. If we do one of Kirax missions... Our Atlas passives don't apply, so there's a good chance we will not get you. Meaning that this could be just a waste. Actually, no, that's not true. Because if we get, let's say, tier 14 or 15 maps with this, and we don't get June in this map, then we can just run like a tier 14 or 15 map. And then we will definitely get Jin because then our passives will be acti our passives will be activated again. I have to say, it feels like a real missed opportunity. The fact that the lanterns aren't don't affect Kirax uh, stuff. No, K, not that. I guess I don't need this any harder. No. No seal soul leader. Yeah, I guess I have to be kind of careful seeing this is a tier 14. I just went from a 2 to a 14. I need to remember that this is actually, like, a big deal. Hi, Pyro! Good to see you. And thank you. I feel like this is a. I feel like this is something worth celebrating via stream. I mean, I would celebrate it on my own usually, but I don't know it's 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 a pretty big deal, and I think it's important for trans visibility. I celebrate it. That's just, like, my internal monologue of me trying to decide what I'm doing, basically. Alright. Not get too close. That was the boss room. Okay, who, who do we have? That's, oh, that's a 15. Perfect. So we don't see June here. That would actually be ideal. This is Wode. I don't think Wode has any more phases. He just dies. Oh, thank God. I hate dealing with innocence. Usually after Wode is innocent. If it's the innocence inhabited one. So has anyone here actually seen the uh, Fallout TV series yet? I'm hoping to uh, watch it sometime soonish. I was hoping to watch it with a particular friend, actually. So I'm waiting for them to be available. I should probably mess but... I'm very excited to actually see it. Because I know basically nothing about the Fallout universe. I'm only, like, just starting to get into Fallout, but... I don't know. It seems like a really well-thought-out universe.
Oh yeah, I took it back my strong box. Mastery. That's what I did. Take this back. I'll do all mics after. Oh, I'm not doing can't regen. I almost used a chaos orb on it. <laughs> no, it's not. We're not doing that. We're going to scour and binding. No, no, not reduce max resistances. Okay, power charge. I can take power charge. Please don't brick it. Spell suppression. That sucks, but it's too. Oh god. Okay. Elemental ailment avoidance means that my snow forge won't deactivate. Shock round. I am immune to. Do double unique bosses with unique boss boosts is challenging. Buff reduction is a pain, but nothing here is like undoable. More importantly. We are going to use our Scare of Ascension, of Ascension, and we're going to use New Pack will drop on the map, final map boss. The final map boss. Okay, so that probably means only one of the two map bosses will drop one. I also have a chance to be duplicated. I'm going to try one of the chance to duplicate it and ch increase chance to find them. Since I don't have very many... I mean, the highest tier map I have right now is a 12, so... It's a lot. I'll grab a, an Eater one, and I will grab... I'm going to force Heist. Because Heist will help give me a defensive boost. Hmm. Gonna give the Assault Ribbons extra damage. Up those, there's less packs for it. I have to be very careful with this pack because I can have up to 11, uh, like we can have up to 18 times of this buff on something, so I have to be very, very careful. Actually, wait, can I? I kind of want to see if I can make this easy. Wait, no, that's gonna make <laughs> that's gonna make everything wildwood. That's a bad idea. Uh, this will make things range. That's actually not a very good plan there. It is less. Promise these things teleport. I'm going to risk it. Ah, uh, delirium. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank gosh. Okay, we are immediately getting a smuggler's cache. That's good. It's exactly what I was hoping for. We immediately have a Huck with us for his buffs. Ooh, no, not the Assault Ribbons. They have increased chaos damage. They have non-chaos as chaos, so I have to be careful of the Assault Ribbons. I picked the Assault Ribbon specifically because they're really physically weak. They're really squish, so it should be easy to kill them before they get too close to me. I'm paying enough attention. Okay, that was just the Eater mobs activating. Okay. 
Okay, Jaden's here. Good. Exactly what I'm hoping for. Nope. They're out a little bit more. You know what? I'll come back for them in a second. I'm gonna play this really safe and also try to get as much as I can out of the Ethereum while I have the chance. Thankfully, I can walk on the frozen path because I have chill reduction and freeze avoidance. Or, like, perfect freeze avoidance. So that's good. Shit. No! No! Ah. I got so close to the fourth tier. Yeah, let's go back. Aku. Frank. Oh yeah, because I have I have double. Oh. I can set all my prisoners free right now. If I do that, Katarina will be immediately available. That's fine. That's actually ideal. I just don't want any, I just didn't want any safe houses starting. Uh, ooh. Monsters drop shock ground. That's great. I love that. I'm shock immune. 19% <laughs> chance to duplicate basic currency. Give me a mirror. I really do hope one day I actually see a mirror. That would be amazing. I mean, I don't even know anyone who's got a mirror. Grr. I mean, I've, I've met people who say that they've got a mirror before, but I've never actually known anyone like in my friend group as. Gosh, I can only imagine what it was like early on in, in the POE history when people were like, man, I got this really cool item. It's so super rare and this and it duplicates items. People will be like, nah, that's not real. <laughs> really should have put down a portal now, shouldn't I have? And strong box. Ooh. Oh, we got the duplication on the Chaos Orb. Nice. Anything else? Oh, it's Syndicate Laboratory. Okay. I'll go grab the other core. I was metering them out, actually, because of... Uh... Because of uh, Gravekeeper's boon. That'll help me. Because that'll last the entire time I'm in. Fuck. No. It was going to last the entire fuck.
I think it has ended. Oh yeah, because we have uh, increase our, our buff expire, our seventy percent buff expiry on this map, so everything's going to end faster. Including our thirty second duration gravekeeper's boon, probably down to like eight seconds. Don't you fucking... Oh, you little bastard. <laughs> there, you get away from me. Ideally, we don't want to get a research safe house right now. Because the progress will persist to after we've killed Katarina. So it would be better for us to kill Katarina first, and then activate the safe house right after to give us more Katarina. King River. Nope, 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 nope. Shocked, even more shocked ground in exchange for scarabs. That sounds perfect. I love scarabs. Especially delirium ones. Though I guess they're not incredibly useful seeing as I can easily get delirium via my passive tree right now. I guess I should use them sooner rather than later then, seeing as I, my passive tree is going to basically be forcing delirium pretty soon. Oh my gosh. I think my corpse doubling took effect there. Darno. A reminder for those still playing, like currently playing the game, uh, it is ideal to keep updating your loot filter whenever you get the chance, uh, because it changes based on how valuable certain things are. And if you haven't updated your loot filter recently, it probably would be good for you to do so. I just did mine today. So that it is up to date with current market trends. So things like delirium orbs are going to be marked as less important right now, being that they're not actually all that important right now. Ooh, Rolder. Rolder? Rolder Order Ishers. Greater Elder Chicker. Oh. Angry Pandas! Gary Panda. Nope. Gary Panda. Bad Panda. Bad. I thought I was going to do one of the... I did the thing where it dropped a unique map. Confused. Yeah, I guess I didn't actually add that. Not more maps, though. That's the important thing. That's a Kytus ground. 
These are good if you do five ways. Because they have increased XP gain. So, I don't know how, how common five ways are this league. And I'm sure I'll find out eventually. None of my five way providers. I can't see if they, if anyone's doing it. Every time I find someone who like regularly does five way, uh, or I guess I technically I guess I should call it um. Forget the other name is the problem. Dimension of Timeless Conflict. Whenever I find someone who does the Dimension of Timeless Conflict, no, Domain of Timeless Conflict, uh, I always friend them because it's so useful to be able to have someone to like just know the people who like to do that stuff so you can buy it when it in a Especially if you like regularly buy highway runs, like I do. I don't actually like leveling. Well, I don't like the high tier leveling process. I would rather farm for currency and then use that currency to get it instead. Losing scare of a convert. How are you worth one C? That's like really, really good. I could run that on like every map. Oh, wait, why did that safe house act? Wait. Okay, my brain just stalled for a second. What do you mean hoarding harvest scarabs? Does Virgi not do white sockets anymore? Stockpiling catalyst. Oh. Okay. Right, I guess I did hear that they were changing some of the the uh, Mortal Syndicate reward. I'll have to be keeping an eye on that. Okay, we're going to do Katarina, though. Katarina time. Okay, so she is a tier 12. That's unfortunate seeing as we just did tier 15, but it probably averaged them out. I'll have to switch the music when it's time for our fight. I'll fight music.
trying to be super careful right now. Darkovas. I can probably... I will probably corrupt that. Even get good at the corruption implicit, because if I can get max power charges or cost reservation multiplier, then... Or reser reservation cost multiplier? I don't know how it's worded. If I can get that, that would be ideal. The Starcovas is pretty good. Only problem is it reduces your bite, your damage on low level. But it is cheap and effective. For Okay, this is a new league, so I'm going to be going over the Katarina mechanics as well this time when I fight her. Because a lot of people are going to want to know how to deal with Katarina. Okay, so when she spawns, she's going to jump to some place. Yep, here. DPS are down. So she unlocks one of the assassins, one of the research, or not one of the research heads, the uh, one of the lieutenants. I'm damageable in a second. Ooh. Not a good time for lag. Okay. Need to empower the area. But well, we also have to watch out for the center area, which is out flames. We will have to empower two separate areas. Okay, fighting Tora now. Uh, teleport immediately. Back. Eve, we will be. Yep, empowering this next. As soon as it's empowered, it becomes lethal. So we want to make sure we're out of there. Okay. Skeletons. As soon as they're active, you want to make sure you walk over them so that they all explode. If they don't explode, they will turn into creatures that will follow you and explode for chaos damage. They suck. Actually, I don't know if it's chaos damage or true damage. Either or, it sucks. Okay, we're going to get another capture round in a second, so that she's active. Watch out for the damage in the center. Yep. Capture. Okay. And the last capture she will do herself. She'll destroy the last capture point. Next is Haku. Last lieutenants. She will, I believe she's going to destroy the last capture point over here, and then she's going to become targetable. Yep. And now she comes to find us. Make sure that we are not standing in the flames. Okay. Now we're done. That's basically how Katarina works for anyone who's new to it. I know there's a lot of new people who's going to be trying it now, especially now that the rewards have been buffed so much. So this will be a pretty big deal. And we didn't get the Bale's Chaos Orb. That's fine. Already gotten one. I'm pretty happy. Okay, now for the secondary benefit of defeating Katarina. We get the upgraded versions of... The rewards from everyone. Uh, essence crafting. Catalyst. Nice.
and more scarabs. I'm more scared of discernment. Okay. Please price check for me. There we go. The hidden compartments. No, most scarabs are not worth anything. I'm really starting to learn that. Attention. Even the duplicate maps one, which was highlighted. Five C. Most thing, most scarabs are not worth more than five C. There's like one or two that are specifically. Specifically, the ones that give you divination cards from the areas that have favored. And the one that prevents you from using your div cards when you use your div card. Or when the one that prevents you from using your scarab when you use your scarabs. Chaos. Those two are the obscenely expensive ones. Because they're part of like one of the big currency farming strategies right now. Because people just mark all the maps that give the doctor and the nurse. And the doctor, the nurse, uh, brother's gift, divine beauty. All all of those. Every every map that gives like obscenely good div cards, they pick those and then they use the that's a lot of stuff. And then they use the thing that prevents you from consuming your scarabs when you. I'll have to come back. Because the scarab that prevents your scarabs from actually being consumed when you use them is only like half the price of the div card one so it's still worth it and then exotic coinage right now is worth three or four c i'll put out for three go for all this late Actually, have I? I did actually max some stuff. I just remember that I haven't checked these things. About a level, about uh, twenty-three quality ambush. Actually, it's probably leveled. We have a blue gem that's at 8. Oh, that is a 20% assassin's mark. That's worth it. An 18 crossbow there. Probably gonna level that. I don't know what cross I don't know how valuable crossbolt is, but it probably will be worth leveling just so that we have uh the high quality gem for if we do some lab runs to convert them. What did I do here all the fun? Yeah, I'll do that over... I think Frostbolt's at... No. Close, but not as viable. Okay, so... Essence crafting... What do we want to essence craft? Six, seven, eight, seventy nine. I think I'm a little eighty helmets for we'll that. Okay, 
hour with me. Being worth it. I want to play with this really badly. The rogue exiles in your area have a 30% chance to be replaced with a rogue giant. That sounds awesome. Okay, Tony's trial. I'm going to pause the music just for a second so I can think, because I need to focus on I'm going to have seconds to do this. Yeah, that didn't work out. I should have kept the uh, mana reservation efficiency uh, tier one lightning. That one would that one was better. Try right again. Damn it. <laughs> oh, oh well. Like panicking at the end. I was like, now I have a second left. <laughs> okay, well, I'll leave that there for crafting later. Okay, so we have the research safe house. I want to find out who that is so we can rank them up. Otherwise, very good. Channel and strength. There we go. I should probably be saving my or my or isn't I mean having the having the points is really important. I'll pick rare of this for the rarity because rarity is mainly for dropping rare gear, which usually sucks. Except for the abyssal monsters can drop uh, uh, eye jewels, and the eye jewels are ideally rare. One of the favorite few places where rare gear is valuable. But going back to it, having the atlas passive points is so valuable. Because like things like being able to push to get uh, Katarina faster, very very important. Because that can mean a lot of money potentially. Oh hi Omni, hi Omni. <laughs> very brief stay. Hi, Haku. Bye, Haku. Hey, well, you're an intervention. 
everyone's in reason. Okay. Okay, got a Google Shrine. There we go, Cobalt Pool. What I'm looking for. I mean, it's on iJewel. Cobalt specifically is really good. Of the non iJewel. I'm going to get a non iJewel I want. Cobalt is the spell casting one. And quite honestly, the uh, the melee ones and the ranged ones just aren't that valuable. The builds just don't like to take a lot of duels for whatever reason. But if they do, I have yet to find which duels they are. Besides, like, mana reservation efficiency. Those ones are fairly obvious because everyone likes those. So that might be... Cobalt specific, anyways, so who the fuck knows? So many instilling orbs. So many instilling orbs. Massive shrine, massive shrine, massive shrine. Yes. Massive Shrine and Sulfite Intoxication. And Haku. Not Haku. Um, Huck. Haku. Whee! Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's worth it! It's worth it! <laughs> Oh, that was so much more hectic than it needed to be, but still worth it to dive in there for the extra bit of currency and such. More strong boxes. Last little bit here. Oh, there's a Stygian Spire here. Did I add that? I remember if I added that. I don't feel like I added that. Oh, it's the off lane. That's where it came from. That's that makes sense. <laughs> Ghastly ideals are good because they're me. That one is fine. Damn. Decks. Go on my crafting. Go on my crafting. Die. Oh, don't okay, die, but like. <laughs> and I am going to salvage them, so I guess in a way that is dying isn't. A ring. Push the benefit we have. So that's 63 chaos res, 22 cold res, 1 chaos res, 91 max life, 30. Open prefix for whatever shenanigans. Over 100 life. Ooh. We're talking like 50 C. Still. That's 
that's why things aren't working. I mean, it's probably just user or error, but I really do not feel like the... I really don't feel like the game is reacting well to Netflix today, especially considering how much... Egg we've been experiencing. I hate it. Since the last time I checked, which was a while ago, I still haven't dropped a single another frame. That's good. Here, I'll give the melee things hinder on spit on hit with spell. Spell hinder. Turn the music back on. Forgot to do that. I always forget to do that. If you hear the music off, poke me, because that's probably accidental. It's almost always accidental. Also, we're gonna change the song. Downright chillin' by afternoon tiger. I don't know what this is. Oh my gosh, Gem Cut is prisms. They're three quarters of a chaos right now. None of this is good. I'll kill shit for speed. Um, no, no, no. I don't really need to spend too much time on this. This is a tier 3 now. Based on that, I might actually just... Yeah, I'm not going to get much XP from this either. I could do the... I thought there was like a huge amount you can get out of the expedition. Such a thin map. But... I don't think we can even. I could get. All of that. Ah, you can only get that. Okay, increased rare monsters. Good. First immunity. Air. That is over there. Sure. I feel like I've become very used to expedition monsters now that I've been having them just appear in my maps at random via the flames. Say via the lantern. That didn't explode. Oh, I charged my support level up. I'll have to re-level some of my gems soon, actually, because I think most of them have leveled up to 
sitting there doing anything. Wait, there's a corpse over there? Items corrupted. That sounds like an awful mod to have. But it doesn't give corrupt implicit, so that could be good, but the chance of that actually being worthwhile is pretty low. I guess unless you have, like, some specific thing. I never realized that... that, uh... Necropolis crafting works the way that it actually does. Which is, it looks like you need to use more or less the entire graveyard every time you want to do, like, any, like, important craft. Or notable craft. So you need to do, use, like, 50, like, genuinely, I think, like, 55 corpses for craft. Which is a little obscene sounding. But... Craft, uh, Craft of Exile can actually calculate exactly what corpses you need to do certain things. Really cool. Or supposedly, it, it's like 100% accuracy or something. Oh, I accidentally killed it. Where am I going now? I don't actually have a direction. Could get Einhard stays with me. I grabbed uh, Ge Geminate, Geminate Haunting, which allows the chance to have a duplicate corpse. We saw that earlier. Pick. Would give me a chance for explore commission. Oh, I could also go for some of the expedition stuff. I've been meaning to kind of try that. Or I could start going for the Eldritch stuff. Actually, the Eldritch stuff is probably a better bet than the expedition stuff. Eventually, I'll probably want to go over here to like eight stuff with the strong boxes. Okay, well, I'll start working on the Eater of Worlds stuff, because eventually I want to get the, chan the increased chance to find altars and the double progress toward the Eater of Worlds. Not that the double progress is going to be useful yet, seeing as we don't even have our first one. Oh yeah, we had a free Almex. Here one Almex Sanctum. <laughs> Need some frenzy charge so I can Chaos Shard. Chaos Shard? Oh, work shard game. Oh, it combined in my brain. It was supposed to be charged. That's what happened. Really need to kill things on tier one. Not really gonna reward me with anything. Nope, that is not the right button. Doom.
I don't know why I'm cursing them. There's no point. I don't need more damage. Hey. More importantly, I actually get to... get the uh, point. Still need to figure out who that is. So I don't really want to run it and get like four... No, it'd be three... Three times three, so that'd be nine mastermind progress if I don't know who it is. That would suck. I actually make use of that safe house. Oh, 25 quality. I didn't even notice I had 25 quality maps. Well, one of these will become something. Pharaohs! Oh wait, yeah, of course I can't put anything on it. Please. Okay, it's still doable. Ooh, we got increased pack size! Nice! Guess those both turned out well. Uh, I put priority on something. Fractured items would be. The rest of this would. It's good that there's actually some things that I can use the increased stuff with. It's not just completely. I mean, usually ha more rare gear does not help you. I mean, I think I'm still, I'm kind of abnormal in the fact that I'm still picking up, like, rare jewels. Which usually people don't even do at this point. I wonder if it can actually be kind of decent. Selling so. For a second, I thought that had an aspect on it. Like, what? Like, I, I, read, I read aspect the first time, and then I just could not find it again because it's not actually there. Oh, Riker, I didn't see you over there. Lots of maps. I've done all of them. Oh, well. Ah, there is more over here. I didn't think there would be. Oh, hello. Who are you? Giannis. Bye, Giannis. I don't really need. I prefer you keep gaining rank rather than get kicked out because they're getting you. I don't know if expedition scarabs are good or not, but they are certainly things that can be make stuff that gives goods and services. <laughs> I don't know. They are certainly scarabs. 
I can say they're good scarabs or bad scarabs, but they're definitely scarabs. Black cat seal of approval. Why can't I teleport? Thank you. Oh. I got a, uh... Whatever this is. Uh, haunted by. That I don't see. Or I have my three or four of a kind or whatever. That's... I'll have to actually look that up when I have four of a kind to see what, like, how it's supposed to work. For rare here, you can inhabit. They appreciate it if you go inhabit something. Oh. Oh, you... oh my gosh, the Taunted Spirit dropped an item. I know they're supposed to drop items, but I never see them drop any. Into the sun, nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Hey, corpse. Pops. Pops. Hey, you are dying now because you're a silence boss. I'm not dealing with you. Ow. Hate the silence one. It's such a weird thing, because there's, there's like... Easy counterplay to silence, but since there's, I don't know of any other creature in the game that uses it besides that one. There's no point running it, except if you're doing that specific map. Oh. I'm going to check. How many actual things do I have to unveil anymore? Like, I don't see a point just doing this Wow. I actually have a fair bit to unveil still. How am I not getting more? A lot of quiver one. Belt, dust plate, rings. No, I still have a still have a veritable army of things to unveil. Are any of these section things I could ever use realistically? I'm sure. Charge? No, that's on a weapon. The armor and energy shield I might use. I thought I'd prefer evasion energy shield in that case. A lot of these aren't person specific, though, which is weird. The only ones that really matter seem to be the level of M ones and some rings. I think I'm just going to stop picking up anything that's not a ring. That is a good point. Up scours. I want to give what to. Shock. Can't be shocked.
Oh, that's less pack size than not fire. Sure. Go with that. Yeah. Yeah, which means that I really only need to unveil stuff from her and, like, a few rings, so. I probably won't be unveiling much anymore. I don't need, like, percent of evasion rating regenerated as life during focus. Like, I don't, I really don't need that. I'm never going to use it. There's no point in me getting it. Like, usually I'll try to go for all of the unveils I can get, just try to finish it off, but I don't need that. It's really not worth the time. Other optimize a little bit. Oh, another haunted by. Nice. Bayana. Rings that I saw that looked used Riker specifically. I'm just so surprised that I have, like, 20 general, um, non-person-specific things to unveil. That just blows my mind, because I'm just constantly unveiling things. Why I'm not getting them as, as options. Unless it's not showing me that they're person-specific. Though it does show which person you're supposed to really get it from, so I don't, I don't know. Iceling! Okay, so we need to power up Iceling. Look forward to seeing what Iceling gets out of research. But I don't... I mean, now that Verucci's changed, I don't really trust that anyone is going to be the same as before. Like, Verucci was the one... one that, like, I would usually go for in most scenarios. Because having white sockets on your gear is pretty much never bad. Except in very, very weird circumstances, with specific modifiers on specific unique gear. Another haunted by. What? My morgue is full. Oh my god. That did not take very long. Hey, okay, well, I guess we're going to our morgue next. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is a Riker ring. That's actually what I was looking for. Yep, there's the fire and lightning I wanted. Okay. Okay, let's go to our morgue and see what we can do. Or Necropolis. I don't think there are many of these that are actually valuable. Grab the ones that I think might be valuable, and I'm going to check them. And if they end up not being valuable, then I will... Not keep them. Minion damage. Minion, no. Item implicits. No. Implicit modifier value really. 
not that does not sound remotely useful. Increase effect of brave bro. That is valuable. That's like five CFPs. Pearl haunted modifiers it is not valuable. Socket number. Chaos mod. Okay, so I do have any more Brave Rose. Okay, I do think it's very cool the way they have this set up, but oh boy, is it hard to see what's going on. Like, this is cool when you don't have... <laughs> you... <laughs> Why is the dinosaur falling off? <laughs> that mob is a bit too big. Elemental mod, that might be valuable. Resistance, that might be valuable. Crit might be valuable. And the rest of them, I'm going to hazard the other guess and they say they're shit. No, elemental's not. Scarcer? Um, yeah, I think it's worth a few C. And crit mods. That one is worth three C. So, not very much, but something. All of these. Let's see, tab. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start doing um one works things. To we can get some in these lands. God, there's no point in picking it. This is actually like at all a worthwhile thing to be doing with my time, but maybe. But just spawning chest plates isn't necessarily going to get me a six link, but I mean, it might. Okay. Oh, I get. Oh, you want to. I love when people say T for T as thanks for trade. So funny to me. Because I'm used to dating apps where it means like trans girl for trans girl. Or trans person for trans person, technically. I really don't know if this is even remotely worth it, <laughs> but we'll find out very quickly. Increased chance of modifier. Oh, apparently this is getting us progress because we're just burning a bunch of corpses on this shit. Not even picking, like, a specific body. Pick something... That's the guard. All 
Colonel. Triumphant. Okay, so probably a revolver gale. I wish I could create. I don't know why you can't create jewelry. To me. I swear I created jewelry early on in the league, too. I don't know. I don't really know why. Wait! There's a jewelry thing right here. What, am... what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Whatever. Am I just crazy? Have I just been missing this the entire time? Apparently. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to try... You know, I'll try Amethyst rings. You know what? Yeah, let's give me... Give me a bunch of Amethyst rings. That has a much higher chance of actually giving us something useful. Oh, I wish I didn't didn't bury that because that I, I didn't realize that modifier was there. I would have price stacked that one. I hope that gem level one wasn't valuable. So that's all I can say. The minion modifier one. Well, I might as well do it. Well, hopefully, hopefully this gives people information of some sort. By me just, like, spending all the corpses doing this weird shit, because it might, it technically, it might help with statistics. I don't know, I'm just very curious what we're going to get, and I do actually need Amethyst to build, so it'd be kind of nice to see if I can make it nice. Lots of haunted buys. Filling the entire graveyard up with crap. And I'm broke. Maybe I'm corruption on a ring. Not good. Ever. I don't really care. I'm curious to see what we get out of all of this. Like, mass creating Amethyst Ring. Oh, I have two buried. That was not my intent. Corpse. Modifier tier. Randomize. Didn't really help. Cool. 
I can make a crit ring. Oh, that can use all of those. Ah, well, whatever. Now, I want to see about making a bigger... Let's see, what do we actually get, anyway? Crappy stats, that's for sure. Ooh, that's a tier one chaos. And most of these chest plates, even if they rolled as a six link, would be good for nothing but scrapping. Just, just would not be worth it otherwise. Here's what I'm gonna do. Pick up all the rings. Set them all. See if I made anything interesting. Uh... That's a lot of strength. That's 65 strength and 70 max life. That's tier 1 life, tier 1 rarity, tier 1 strength, and tier 1 attributes. Holy shit, that actually might be worth something. Put that aside. An attack speed amethyst ring. Uh, Most of the stuff is just crap. Oh, I didn't consider the fact that I could create new, like, um, thought that that was a, a new ring that also suck. That still also suck. Oh, well, we got one kind of crazy one. That's kind of cool. Necros tend to suffer for strength, too. And they like strength. Okay, let's try to make a chest plate now. Forge socket numbers 200 times. Links 200 times. Report 200 times. Links 200 times. Haunted modifiers, modifier two. Give me some of these barpses. Okay, Morgus full. We have for the boosting port. Add. Construct run right there. Construct corpse not to be consumed. Corpse to not be consumed. East corpse not to be consumed. Answer B's corpse not to be. <laughs> sure, why not? Demon, human. Uh, 
Or at least two other corpses of the same name. Do I have more ghouls? Apparently ghouls are a beast. Mother? Oh, flame mother. That's still weird. Okay, where's that coma? That corpse is a Right there. Dead corp. Oh, that's an undead. Effect of undead corp. Give me an undead corpse for there. Oh. That one. Any other thing ones? No, I don't. I'm just going to put the rest of them random then. Item level. Item level. Item level. Item level. Haunted modifiers. By the way, just a reminder, we're making a chest plate. <laughs> In case that's not clear, because honestly, it's not that clear. So, put a physical mod here. Wait, no, I, I want I want squirt scarcer fit. Actually, go. Spot where I can put mold. Okay, put it here. Okay, I want more chaos, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Get rid of chaos is scarcer. Life is. Defense is scarcer. Get rid of lightning is scarcer. And replace them. Gem mods are scarcer. Lightning is scarcer. I don't pass it. Okay. I want another area where I can hurt mold. Try this area. Get rid of a physical, get rid of get rid of specifically. No minus mold. Oh, I don't want back. Get rid of elementals. Randomize all those. I was corrupted. Corruption bits. Don't want corrupted blitz. Ones are scarcer. That's good. Try that one. And also monster scarcer. That didn't even change. Anything else I want to get rid of? Randomize. I mean, I'm going to want... I'm going to want attacks are scarcer, seeing as it's the best play to make. One increased chance of attribute, increased chance of defense. Defense. Faster mod here, sir. Don't think that matters. Anyway. Scare, sir, I'll put there. I'm going to randomize this. Chance of... I guess I'll get rid of a fire one. Oh, it's increased minimum socket number. Demon 
respective demon adjacent corpses man or attribute. Active demon. Do I have any demon corpses I can put beside this? Chance of Chaos mod, sure, because I'd love to get some chaos. If on element. Chance of old because uh, I I, I want to see if I can make a tri res. So I'm just gonna go for all of it. <laughs> Lightning. I might be putting like way too much into this potentially, but honestly, I don't really care. I don't really see these corpses as valuable. Thing is, I mean, not, almost none of them are worth even a full chaos. So. If I just burn all of these for absolutely nothing and get absolutely nothing out of this, and it just ends up being a piece of shit, I don't Quality. Explicit mod. Explicit mod. Explicit mod. Just don't care if this turns into dead. It's already so much stuff on the minimap. Uh, I think I'm gonna separate the. I think I want to separate the haunted bodies. Actually, no, I can just scroll past them. That's fine. Give me more things. Okay, what else do we have? Forge links. We our links are gonna be forged six hundred times. So if we can get some more reforging of number, there we are. That's good. Okay, effective humanoid and construct corpses and beast corpses. Okay. Humanoid, construct, and beast. Buff that one. Where do I have a humanoid construct corpse I want? Maybe somewhere. So much stuff going on. Uh, sure, I'll boost the explicit. No, actually, the explicit modifier one can't shouldn't be able to be boosted because a forty percent increase on a plus one is a one point four, and I don't think we can have part value, so that's not going to work. I'll just hold on to them for now. Here, let's put a humanoid thing here. Okay, can I put a bunch of humanoid stuff around it? Maybe I should check that I had humanoid things to use. Do I have any more randomized ones? Yes, I do. Chaos ones are scarcer. And mods are scarcer. Mutant fire mods are scarcer. I don't want any of that. Okay, I'm gonna replace this and randomize them again. Chance of suffix, recall implicit, increase lightning. And Your song, your sound was not working before. Does that mean you weren't able to hear us up until this point? Do I have any undead boosts? I don't think so. The construct. I have three effective constructs. Undead stuff there. There.
I'm running out of spots to bury things. Which is probably for the best. Uh... That was two and a half times the price, but okay. Ah, that's fair. But that that's why you never respond when I say hi to you. Okay, fire mod, cold mod, elemental mod. What? I don't think any of these other ones would be useful, so that is like, uh, I don't know how many of, of the graves that is. There's two missing here. That one missing. Now it's down. Okay, so I'm like short. Nine. Oh, wow, no, I actually have a fair bit unused. Yeah, I have 17 unused lots, actually. No, I mean, I say hi to you in stream, and you almost never respond. <laughs> I mean, I assume you're just popping in to say hi and then leaving. Or at least that's what I assume until now. It's all good, like, I just... I just was confused. Okay, so... We have plus seven explicit modifiers. I don't know what that means it's gonna do, because you can only have six in total. So... I don't fucking know. Plus five to item level, 400... Uh, let's deal with this first, then I will... Ah, uh, fair. Anyways, happy you're here. Uh, sure. What is an exalt? Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so this is what we're doing right now. Let me move my avatar over a tiny bit. I can actually see what I'm doing properly. Okay. So 10% quality, plus 5 to item level, 400... Uh, reforged socket numbers 400 times, re reforged socket link 600 times. We roll implicit six times, plus seven explicit modifiers. Armor can roll haunted values, plus 300% chance of haunted values. Evasion. Actually, we want evasion. Carnal. Not carnal, let's say it is. 2,500% chance increased fire, 1,500% chance increased coal, 1,500% chance increased lightning, 600% chance increased elemental modifier, 1,200 chaos, 1,000 life, 1,000 defense, 1,500 attribute. <laughs> scarcer physical, scarcer lightning, scarcer attack, scarcer gem. Uh, bottom 79% of modifier tiers cannot roll. Minimum 5 linked sockets. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this beast, beast of a craft here, and we're gonna make it. Exercise! Oh my god, I got so many achievements! <laughs> I got eight achievements for doing that! <laughs> oh my god, it's not even a six link! Lightning resistance cannot be penetrated. Huh. That's cool. 
Uh, well, it rerolled a tier 4, which is the minimum it could have rolled. And it rolled a tier 3, which is close to minimum. For expending 40, like 45 corpses, this is not good. This is really bad. It had a minimum of 5 links, and then it reforged the links 600 times to get the best best outcome and this is the best outcome this is very unimpressive <laughs> this is i am so unimpressed by this oh my god that is that's worthless unless the lightning resistance cannot be penetrated is like something stupid let's see How much is this for a six link? Obviously, it's worth a divine. But it's not a six link, so I don't know if I would pay a divine for this. The lightning rest cannot be penetrated, is kind of cool. Well, I guess I'll put it up for a divine. I. I see when lightning resistance cannot be penetrated would be good. Because when you're cursed, it reduces your lightning. It would only be against things that specifically have lightning penetration. Which is... The Shaber Beam, I think, has some penetration. I don't know, that's just really, really bad. Well, I am... I'll be honest, I'm impressed by this. I'm impressed that you could input so much work into something, and it's come out absolutely worthless. It is impressive how hard this mechanic tried to fail. My god. Well, whatever. We'll see if anyone ever wants this for any reason. I don't know, I'll try 2-div. Maybe the lightning resistance can't be penetrated is like some super crazy thing or something. Of like a few living... ...things that I can't use, really. They're kind of far apart. I don't really have too much to affect them. No, I'm trying to co connect that. Or I'll make something weird out of this. What? What will benefit from these stats? Besides most, mostly not things. I don't know what benefits from these stats. Maybe nothing. <laughs> Here. Here, a bow would benefit from these stats. Let's. Let's try to six link a bow because of course this is going to six link with six six things. Of course it's not because why would it six link after we just put forty five corpses into another potential six link? Yeah, it's 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 a zero link in fact. I'm not actually salty. I'm just like. I didn't have any expectations, so I'm not upset. <laughs> Anyways, we have lots of weird stuff. We have a three of a kind of Freesha's. I don't know how that stuff works. 
Okay, well, let's look into this. Uh, POA. Uh, haunted by crafting. Someone, can someone explain to me how these work? Let's see. Because I know these things can be turned into something. Necropolis offers a... I can't think of the music. Necropolis offers a variety of unique items crafted through exorcism. Create these. You'll need a complete set of corpses haunted by specific named characters forming a whole lineage. Some of these unique items come in variant forms with varying modifiers. Modifiers on these items can be influenced by additional corpses you bury before the crafting process. That told me exactly what I know and nothing of what I don't know. <laughs> I guess... I guess the next thing is here we crafting unique items in Necropolis. Someone explain to me works. Crafting unique items. Lineage. Okay, what is a what is a full lineage though? What what counts as a full lineage? Do I need like ten people? Do I need four people? Burying all corpses with the same surname will help yield the unique. Is there any way to tell how many corpses are within each family? There are all families have four members. Okay. Interesting. I have three Freesias. I have one Navalius. I have two Gratis. And I have three Veruso. No, I have one Veruso. Those are the same thing. Okay, so... Basically... We need... Four different people with the, sa with the, the same last name. Okay, so something that I will eventually be able to do probably. So I can't believe I got, like, 11 achievements total while just fucking around here. I was at 9 challenges before I started, so I must not have actually gotten much progress. Craft any of the 10 types of following equipment. Oh. Oh, so I just need to craft whatever. Building an item that's seventy level seventy five or higher. Okay, this is seventy nine. Uh, minimum two linked sockets. Okay, well I haven't made boots yet apparently. So let's make boots. Armor. Okay, so terrible. And 72, so that's not even going to I should at least. Yeah, that's terrible. I tried. Edmonton Mod. Uh... Oh, wait. Using at least five crafting modifiers. Okay, was not paying enough attention. Still. I will make some boots with these random things that are floating around here because it's better than just letting them disappear. Because they're just going to get destroyed once. Okay, so I have all these haunted by things that I cannot use currently, but that's fine. Okay, that was a very strange. Uh, however many minutes that was doing all of that. <laughs> that I feel 
I feel like I know less about Necropolis crafting now than I did when I started. Which means I've been successful at... Confusing myself, I guess. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> Let's go with that and just... Okay. Let me go back to something I actually understand. Let's try mapping. I, I understand how to map. That's... That works fine. Oh, am I, am I done all white here now? Done all white tiers. What's left in yellow? Orchard, Sunken City, Tropical Island, Excavation. About it, you don't have any more horizons. Oh, well, the higher the mod higher level the modifier is or a higher level the map is the more likely that you'll be able to trade for it on on pue map dot trade is the website you can use dropped weapons are converted to vol orb i'm sure vol orbs work that will affect whether I, I do something right now. All oh, orbs are worth 0.5. Okay, so they're worth half a chaos. They're half as important. Okay, so I'm probably not going to burn a rogue exile thing on that. Anything else that would probably drop a lot of weapons? Extra monster drops, items with plus one to pocket. That actually sounds like it would force a lot of weapon drops, and I don't really care about it. I don't really care for the most fully linked items. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're in a tier 8. Brain just has to adjust every time we change tiers. Doing tier 2s at the start, and then we are doing 12s, and now we're doing 8s. <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking for weird totem things. Something. They're the ones that drop interesting things. Not porcupine. Wait, I do not like you. Aku, hi. Welcome. Ooh, that uh, enhance or the enlighten we got a long time ago has leveled up finally. Nice. I have a little bit more mana to use now. Okay, here are the totems. Special, special totems. Special, special totems. That's. Oh, there's more. The concept of lightning warp totems is still very... They just wander... They, they're just totems that actively wander around. Funny concept. Being that totems, by default, are... immobile. I would really appreciate if I could see Isling. She's the one I need to power up right now to make a decent safe house out of right now.
Maybe I shouldn't have picked the infrequent packs monster to replace. I didn't think about it till now, but the bottom one is the infrequent one. Probably why I have yet to get a single Vol Orb. I've gotten three Vol Orbs. What am I talking about? Haven't been paying attention. No, we're not dealing with you. You suck. Hate the goddess and I do not need seeker laser. My life. Woman, do not come back, goddess. I am the only goddess here. There are nothing in the face of cat goddess with fire. Oh, research uh, retreat. Damn it. I'll probably have to just do the safe house so they'll can actually find them again in maps. Unfortunate but true. I made an error putting the Volarp one on that one. Because we didn't get much out of it. <laughs> oh well. Happens. Okay, let's go. Let warm air today. My worm pals are not here. Oh, oh, okay. I forgot to. I didn't even mention this uh, earlier today. I had a wonderful meeting with Venomous. Those who don't know who, what, what Venomous is, it's the Spider God or. I guess you can say the Queen Spider of uh, the Bestiary League. I got the uh, Fenwell Play directed that spawns her. Doing Fenwell Play directed isn't a, a different one, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that spawns her. Which means that I can get an aspect of the spider thing soon. They're always good. Do I use it for my builds, or someone uses it for their builds? So excited to see her. Well, I guess her representative is technically... Since the uh, Plague Directed is a baby compared to actual Ven Venomous. We're halfway to 90, or 90. We're halfway to 92 already. Today. We've gotten a lot of Atlas passive, which I really love. That'll help a lot with us getting currency. Everyone loves currency. The Weisling.
Fizzling. Fileo. Who else is here? Elrion? Elrion! You're never far from research. Oh, well, I got... I'm gonna get 30 Mastermind. That's so... 30% progress. I win. And, okay, so that was the leader room that... Huh. So I guess that... Eisling is now the Beyond Scarab person. Huh. That's weird. Uh... Very good. As far as trap stashes go. Increased chance of finding altars now. Yay. Good Emperor's luck for us. Those are always good. Nope. I do not put the divination cards in the map device. That is not how that works. Uh, good, good thing to know that I'm paying attention. Let's see. Get a Duncan City map. Out of some of these. Yep. Frozen cabins. What do we need? We need Papa Island as well. And excavate. Get an excavation. How about that? Give me an excavation. Yay, excavation. the ones I needed. As I said. I don't know why I'm restating. <laughs> okay, and I need more maps of higher tier. I should grab some scarabs. Would be have. A bunch of delirium stuff. I know. Possessed or touched by tormented spirits, instilling orbs. Okay. <laughs> Not much to change there. So our delirium will progress faster and have an extra level on it. Oh yeah, we're already at two and a half. <laughs> that's really that is a lot faster. Does does what it says on the tin, that's for sure. Okay. Hi, Omni. 
Bye, Omni. I don't want to go too far back because oh shit this... that's not good this will let this be a dead end too Doesn't look like it. No, nope. in a mine over there. No, no. Oh god. Didn't really want to jump into that, but I mean, I'm okay. So I guess everything's fine if it. Everything's well if it ends well. In danger. Okay. Everything's okay. Lots of yummy stuff. I think I'm going to get Unending Fog going for Delirium. I like doing Unending Fog. It basically just means that your Delirium exists forever and doesn't go away. Uh, in exchange for you not being able to get Delirium Orbs. But delirium orbs are seem to be basically worthless this long. So that's not very much of a loss. I think I'm supposed to just offset how much time you're gonna spend in delirium. So specifically the delirium. Oh, it's Unending Nightmare. Delirium Fog never dissipates. Simulacrum Splinters can't be found in your map. Delirium Orbs cannot be found in your map. It's also Descent into Madness. I mainly just want to get Unending Nightmare. I already have That Which You Seek, which gives me a 60% chance of uh, Delirium spawning. 68 with that, and it just doesn't. So. That's more than good. I think I have enough points for that. We'll we'll see. But I'd love to do I'd love to do the shrine stuff, and I'd love to do the strong box stuff. So like, there's lots of stuff to put my points. In. Not a lot of points. Put it put it in place. Okay, palace. Effect of non curse. Not one. And a lot from my grace. A lot of evasion right now. I don't want to lose that. Triple chains and extra projectiles I can do. Two additional. Oh my god. That is. <laughs> that is as absolutely stacked as you possibly can have. I've never seen a, an entire banquet of purely positive modifiers before. That is really nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, I guess I'm probably just gonna send it. I don't see really any other... If this was, like, a higher tier thing than Jeweler's Orbs, I would consider adding something to it, but I'd consider swapping that the Ember of Anarchy. Well, I mean, that's fun. Let's have a purely buffed run here. Start with five layers of delirium. So, not let's not skip over that fact. We're on tier fourteen. No, sorry, tier twelve. Actually, I have to be a bit careful here. I don't want the flat because I something I totally should be able to manage. Can't because I'm not paying attention. Okay, we're at this entire area. Now let's deal with Haku. Okay, that's a bit of a mess. Maybe not stand in that. Honest. Why are you portraying Tor here to that? Well, whatever. I like torturing him too. We'll kick him out of the syndicate. We'll work together to be assholes. No! 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 Oh, shit. No! No! Okay, well, we got to tier. This is why I shouldn't have stood there tormenting Elrion. That's a 21 20 body swap. That is an entire 7C! Oh boy. I don't know what I'm... I don't know how I'm going to spend that. Don't... I don't know. Probably shouldn't spend it all in one place. We have actually made some pretty decent money today, though. That's good. I mean, I mean, in game, other than game. And I would love to make decent money out of game. Not a lot, just enough that I can be comfortable. And don't have to worry about things. You know, what pretty much everyone wants. Oh. Ow! Explosion was not good. Why must you murder my face? I need my face. It's very pretty. Look at those pretty, pretty cat ears. He just didn't get added, okay. Okay, what do you want?
I think Gwyneth just makes me think of Gwyneth Paltrow. I don't want to think of her any more than I have to. So I guess all I know is based on hearsay anyway, so I probably shouldn't be forming opinions based on minors that. Let's not talk badly about people we don't know. So, Gwen, what can I do? What can I do for you? I would like it. It's uh. Okay. One of the last ones, at least. I'll just have to kill what it. Just have to kill it before it gets too close to me. Kill as much of this stuff as I can before it gets there. Before they get buffed like that. No, you're not allowed to get over here when you're critting. Only. Don't need a willow gift. Oh, this is Dominus. High Lightning Man. God's Chosen? More like God's Bozo. Why does no one say Bozo anymore? Also, I forgot to put my avatar back in. There we go. That's nice, sir. I hope Bozo hasn't become, like, a horrifically awful word or... Okay. It wouldn't have become an awful word. I hope it hasn't been an awful word this entire time, and I just don't know it. That's a bench. I don't want to talk to a bench. I want to talk to a pretty lady. Eh. Not bad. Hat. Hat. Bad hat. Oh, something shout for crafting set. I should unveil Leo's. Special. Not everything special for me. Hey, give me Sunken City. Oh. I tried. Again. Give me any of the large number of things I do not have. 
11. Okay, which is not enough of any of them. Okay. Like fire faster, hex should be okay to do element. Yeah, I've I e could easily do elemental weakness. I have an excess of rare gear in this bit. Burial medallions, which I think are worth. For two. Not selling them then. Spell suppression, reduce flash charges. They're not great, but they're not all. Okay, that one's better now. And that was okay. Want. No. Less energy shield to get through. <laughs> Go for the inc upside. Not really a point going for the increase the bonus progress yet. I cannot get progress on the eater yet, anyways. Be back it later. Right. Okay, let's be careful now. First. Oh, was I on cooldown? I'm never paying enough attention to my... To my... One of the things I love about melee builds is you get to use Leap Slam, which has no cooldown. Especially when you're like on a really high attack speed build. Leap Slam just flies you across the maps. One of the fastest ways to melee build. Oh god, that's a lot of explosions. Yeah, I don't want that. No! 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 Damn it! Ah! Uh, I was so close to four layers of delay. Why do my actions have consequences? It's so unfair. <laughs> All the benefits without any of the downsides. Gosh. <laughs> Go! 
feel like if you were completely exempt from all consequence in life, you... I feel like that would degrade you as a person. Like, your ability to maintain ethics and stuff. Well, I don't think you need to be punished to, or have fear of punishment to be ethical necessarily. It is useful for learning. We all do have moments of weakness where we do things we don't really want, things we wish we did not do. Random shit. Random shit. Eleven other shit. Uh... Oh, the thing that we... Okay, whatever... Yeah, the Necropolis was the, the our Sulfur Events book. I remember I was trying to do a Sulfur Events and it must have upgraded Necropolis. Events and still... And still all those are good. Well, might as well do the higher tier map for this. Higher tier. Comes of this upgrade. I guess there's no upgrade here. No upgrade here. What do I want to have in? Don't fire project. What would not affect? Actually, yeah, let's increase the evasion for evasion. Evasion does nothing against spell damage. Why the thing that's most dangerous to me is spells. Oh, this map. This is Barrows, huh? I like Barrows. Oh, yeah, this was a uh, tier one map. That trial of the ancients. Trial of the ancients. Whatever. Got it. <laughs> that league was very forgettable. Like, the only parts of it that I care about were my build that I did. Like, the actual mechanic was very, very forgettable for me. I'm not going to say it was a bad mechanic. I think it is great that they are testing new things, even if they are strange and don't necessarily turn out great. I would rather that they try new things than just stagnate because they want they know their player base wants the exact same thing. Or they think their player base wants the exact same thing. Then we'll just end up with yet an, another Call of Duty. Slightly reskin. Like Sentinel. Sentinel was really, really fucking weird. And it didn't come to core. And that's okay. Because it was weird. It wasn't at all in the theme of the game. But that's fine, because it was just one league. Oh yeah, that's much better. Jonas is much better in... Then C gives you Calgarian currency, and Calgarian currency can. I'll come back for those guys. Don't want to waste my delay. I'm already low on delirium time, anyways.
Awesome shy. Water Fountain Shrine. I don't know what this thing called. Chilling Shrine? Frozen Shrine? I don't know. I like Water Fountain Shrine. I don't like water. No! 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 I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna miss the fourth layer again! Damn it! Uh. Pointed. Okay. What are you idiots? Have. On Giannis, I care about like Giannis being more. Here you can be used. Progress. I don't need sulfite scarabs that badly. I only use sulfite scarabs so that I can. Of sulfite intoxication. No other. That's tier one lightning damage. And tier two armor. Natural tier two. That would work best on a. Park mage. I can get up to 45%. Yeah, that's really good. Cool. It actually decent amulet. That is tier 1 accuracy, too. It's projectile. I guess those two actually can... Whoa, was that? That is a two passive medium cluster. Agent of Destruction and Powered on not good. Or just aren't good. That's not really working. I mean, they're both very. They're very common mods. If that was ah increased effect of elemental stuff, which is a very common cluster jewel, very uncommonly used. Hi, Isling. What are you doing here? Shouldn't be here. Don't really want to. I'll sack Riker. Riker's not useful to me. Isling is special. Eh, I don't know what I have to say. That's damage. Oh yeah, where is Bear Mama? Not here. Bear Mama! East of the pits! Residence. I already have that. Arrows is complete.
Sure, but steady, bro. Throw it at me. Oh, those are the the assassin frogs. Back flipping assassin frog. I think they're actually technically called leapers. Oh wow, I'm lagging a lot. What's going on today? I barely dropped any frames, so like I know that I know it's not me. And get your shit together, GG. Not making a good showing today. <laughs> Gosh, I just heard the cute. Romeo woke up. How about that? Chaos damage. Might actually hit 92 today. I don't know how likely it is. Certainly, I think that is possible. And a triple nine. Good. What is my evasion rating right now? 80. 80 not including the fact that I blind everything. Which increases evasion rating effectively. Oh boy. That is exciting. That is too exciting for me. Let me in. Other betrayal jobs in process. Oh. I guess this is I guess I was close enough for this to be considered in process. Okay. Wow, I am not doing good on this delirium, that's for sure. See if I can get to at least There we go, that's three. Why are things so tanky? Just curse effect, soft effects. Oh, my. Oh, I don't curse with enfeeble. Okay, that's why. Probably the enfeeble and the reduced buff effect means my charges aren't up as much. Not yet. My favorite good boy. Sorry. My favorite good eldritch creature. All of them up. They are literally an it. It says in their name. I would love some curse effect reduction. That would be nice. No, don't intervention me right now. I'm busy. Can't you say I'm busy, Vaughn? Or whoever the fuck else is there? Oh my god, there's a lot of you. 
That is the maximum number of people that can appear at this one time. Or a Haku and Vaughn. I'm going to call him Vaughn from now, because Fagan does not sound right. And though Vaughn is you. Yay. No, that's not, that's not right to change in there. B-A-U-H-N? H-J-N? Life is hard. Vision is scary. Video. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I haven't. I still haven't done the research encounter. I've just been wandering around it forever. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm pretty comfortable in tier eleven now. I really need to update my rings though. Suck. I'll show you for once. Again. Show them first. I could have way higher life on this. I could have better resistances. And I could have way better life on this too. And also better resistances. And also not accuracy or mana. I mean, okay, mana's not bad, but accuracy. Research. You can research. I can set everyone free. Yay! Everyone goes free. That goes for everyone. I don't know why tacos. I'm even hungry. That's probably what's going on. That would make that would make the most sense. There's always some way to get more off lands. Or off lane members. A reliable way to get them. Now the passives seem to give more. As far as I can see, there's the only thing that affects embers in the passives is the one that it makes it so that you can't get any. That would be a severe loss in monetary value. So again, some of the embers are worth a lot of money. Other Novellius. I only have one Novellius so far, so two. I might have an Afresia now. I think I got a Afresia earlier. No, you're not. You're not locking me in place. I'll petrify. I'm being petrified. It's because there's a pretty girl in front of me and nothing else. Mass. What the hell is a touching tentacle mass? And should I be concerned? Feel concerned. Hmm. Should I, should I go for expedition? Expedition really requires you to just like stop and work on things. Don't like zooming. I could just keep pushing this. Yeah. Actually, no. I want to do the delirium thing. That's that's what I should be. Here. One, two. 
was wondering if the, if it'd be fast to go through the gateway, but. Yeah, that's gateway not faster. Okay, we'll go that way. Additional tormented spirit on my map. Oh my gosh, how could I pass that? Is that not? Oh, I had, I had two. Yeah. I was wondering what was going on. Pause, melee. Axe speed with axes, melee. Propolopolis. Okay. On a corrupting tempest. Hate corrupting tempest. <laughs> it's a quote unquote buff that when it hits you, it makes items that are dropped corrupted. Which is not good. It is, in fact, bad and annoying. Whoa, did you see the the lag on those portals opening? Man. Servers. Happening. Servers, who hurt you? Who is actively hurting you, I guess? Uh, ah. almost got cross dark. I thought, I thought the, I thought the Immortal Syndicate rogues weren't allowed to be taken by Delirium Demons anymore. How did that just happen? Cross strike is what happens when there's a Delirium Demon that's infesting it. That most certainly was a exile because it can only or a syndicate member because it can only happen to unique creatures that get. Unless I don't understand what a delirium demon is, it's possible that it's different. Than I think it is. Let's just this from. Stuff. Mention time. I think that's the tactical thing. I'm just waiting till the day that I say something really stupid and have no clue that I've done it. Because I'm, like, only half able to pay attention whilst playing. Yay, I got to level four. <laughs> Ooh, year 13. Essentially my first year 13. I have done up to 12 and also 15. <laughs> Oh, and 14 through, uh... Don't think I've done 13. I'm gonna manage my Gravekeeper's book. Oh, don't 
corrupting, corrupting, corrupting? Don't corrupt, don't corrupt me, bro. Don't corrupting tempest me. I don't want my, my items to drop corrupted. It's not good. It's, it's not a good, it's not a buff, it's bad. It's a debuff. All the tempests are supposed to be buffs, as far as I know. Corruption's only good when the item is complete. A random things dropping corrupted does not help. Most of the time. Okay. Places I die the most, the Syndicate Laboratory. Running out of time, one of the other problems. One of the reasons why I often die is because I'm trying to rush because I'm out of time. Oh, 99%. <laughs> and the next... Okay, now we're... Actually, I might get out of this map and have a safe house ready. We'll see. I don't know if, if the, the board is ticked properly yet for the third turn of this. Don't think it ticked properly last time either. It popped up with a random safe. Oh gosh. I haven't cleared this room yet, apparently. Legion scare of officer? Or sergeants? That sounds fun. I'll have to do that. Fire! Yay! And an eye! Oh! Uh, Malachi's loop. Those are quite good. How did I manage to miss a bunch of my sulfite? Wait. I think I know where they may be. Yep. Ah, and there's one of the abyss. We'll have to make sure to get all of that abyss. Unlocking Kyrak's vault. I think there's a shaper guarding your elder guardian. Now. Probably. Usually, what it is near the end of. So I'm not done the. I'm not done the atlas. So probably a bunch more. No, it's a random conqueror map. It's in 10 scarabs. Okay. Ow. Ow. I'm going to call this map done. Three more, and then we have Undending Nightmare. Actually. Actually. 
I would prefer an ending nightmare over one single. Yay, my delirium shit is permanent now. Don't worry about it disappearing. I'm too sick. Oh, it's fifteen percent spell. Arm form. Really, any point? Uh... And terrible buy. Better than the item level. Not safe house? Not safe house. Hopefully, I get intervention very quickly because intervention, as soon as the board ticks once, my intervention goes. Or not to lose. Uh, one hundred and sixty percent movement speed. Well, those things are very slow to begin with. Yeah, you know, I don't have to run around and rush to get to the end of it. Pretty much always be in delirium now. <laughs> That's fine. My computer doesn't always like it, but it's, it's fine with me, otherwise. We're at 96% of the way to 92. Okay. Sacred Grove. Domination. Oh. I thought that was a uh, divination scarab, not a domination scarab, and I was really excited for a second. Thing is, divination is very valuable, potentially. Though domination is also extremely. Domination uh, shrine. Friends are great. Of course, the first thing I think of is dominacy. <laughs> uh, we have fun here. Well, I have fun here. I hope the rest of you be kind of sad. On this way. Uh, 
Ow. Ow. Oh god. Landmines everywhere. Need to not move. And then immediately move as fast as I can. Fine. Oh, fine. It was actually the one time I was hoping that it would be a spirit, because I have a lot of rares around here because of this. Sorry, a bussy. It's a technical term. Chris Wilson would probably roll over in his grave if he heard that. Not even dead yet. Nope, 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 no, 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 Not how we do things. Oh, we're back where we started. That abyss went for a very long time. Yay, 92! Yes! Oh, I forgot to show when I, uh, hit 91. I took the- I took the point out of here that I usually would have, and I grabbed this so I'd have more of a writing. Very nice. Also means I technically have a chance to pick an Asian Mastery. I could have the 10% movement speed. I have evasion on all of this stuff. I could have more spell suppression. My spell suppression. My spell suppression chance is 47. Oh, because the uh, chance to suppress is lucky, which acts as more. So if we add... Uh... So, according to this, our 47% here is effectively a 72 according to Path of Building with the Lucky. Lucky basically means it rolls the value twice and it takes the better version. And unlucky is the opposite. So, if we changed it, that we have 15 and more spell suppression, we go from 72 to 86%. A 14% increase, because Lucky is scaling up the spell suppression more, which is why that was only a 14% increase on a 15% stat increase, but that is a significant boost. And spell damage is the one thing that makes me, puts me in the most danger, so I'm going to do that. But 62% chances to, to suppress spells, and I get to roll the, the, the it twice for every single time I get hit with a spell. I take the number that is better for me. Lucky should never be underestimated. Which is why it's pretty much the main spell suppression mastery I take every single time.
The other option, if we get another spell suppression mastery, is that there's a... If you suppress spell damage recently, you have phasing. Uh, mastery 2 for spell suppression. And that would also be really good to have in addition to chance. Yeah, it's, uh, where is it? Spell suppression if you've suppressed damage recently, so in the last four seconds, an 8% chance to suppress spell damage will phase it. So. Yeah. Very good. Spell damage can not... Press spell arms cannot inflict ailments on you. Less chance to suppress spell damage per hit you suppressed recently, but more percent of the spell arms prevented. Inflict cold, lightning, and fire explosion on enemies when you suppress their spell damage. Prevent 3% extra of uh, suppressed spell damage. They're all, they're all pretty good, honestly. So I prefer the phasing one just because phasing makes it a lot easier to round. Especially if you need to get out of an area and mobs are blocking you, or you're just trying to ignore the mobs, or whatnot. Because you don't always have your move up. Because you might just use them without thinking about them, and then you run out, and then you're in danger, and... I was a bit worried that they were going to hit me with something, like, obscene at the last moment. Okay, so... One save has is already ready. Three cheeky factories. Leo... Give me... One... Three research points. And Isling and Tora... This is highlighted. Oh, it's a Leo's Veil, that's why. Mm -hmm. No, didn't turn out. Onwards. Uh, there's another Mortal Syndicate encounter, which means that we're going to get the research stronghold, or strong, strong, strong safe house. Oh my gosh. I kept trying to say strong box in my mind. I'm like, no, it's not a strong box. It's definitely not a strong box. They do not hide all within the same small box. So that would be funny. The entire Mortal Syndicate just pops out of a strong box like surprise, fucker. Yeah. 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 There can only be one goddess. I feel like there might be something to preventing having multiple safe houses at once. Like it, like it genuinely might block the research safe house, but in fact, the, the prevention safe house is full. Or no, the the getting the research safe house might block the intervention one, not the other way. Around. No, stop that. Stop leeching life off me. Not allowed. 
Ah. Oh, I don't like always crits. That sounds awful. You like my build from last league. Hundred percent crit chance hex blast totems was really nice. I enjoyed that a lot. No. No, don't discus me. Don't discus me, bro. The Leer cast and five in. Where is that last syndicate encounter? It must not be intervention. Actually, I guess it wouldn't be intervention since intervention has. Oh wait, research has retreated. I'm confused then. Research has retreated. Then their safe house is already selected. What's going on? Or up here. There it is, it's a transportation. That's what it is. And you're gonna have to tell me what's going on, because my understanding of your board is muddled right. Oh, okay, both safe houses can be active at the same time. I did not know that. I can move to... No. Not on that. Very much. Time to safe house the fuck out of this place. A pop school is and now you house of research. Button first. Okay, we're gonna do these two safe houses as past the four. Have things. Sleep is a very important dude. Ooh, plus one to level of all fire skill gems, plus dot multi, plus evasion rating on a dex amulet. Plus a Jorgen's Veiled. I like, I like what? Oh, that's... That is an evil set of options, because I could go mine throwing speed, which is amazing for mine builds, but it's not as good if you're doing dot. I guess attack and cast speed probably be better for a lot of fire builds. And then there's just dex and int, which is bringing you over 60 extra dex, and it gives you a bunch of int, which is good. And for spell builds, want dex and int. Actually, this could be a melee build. I think the dex and int file. Other people. Okay, so. Fire skill gem one isn't worth very much. Fire skill gem with 60 dex on it is worth a bit more. 
dot multi. Three divine. Yeah, fair. Putting up for four, but more than that. Not for chaos. Tiny bit under what I would price it as. Deal with whatever that is. To make sure that I'm doing my safe houses. I don't want the safe house to just disappear because I'm not paying it. I feel like we've been to the safe house at least four times today. This certainly has been helping our leveling. Oh, I hear a sad pug. Sounds like my manager is telling me that the stream needs to end soon. I concur. I promise I'm I am working on finishing up. Let's cut. Annabelle is the best manager I could ask for. There is no pug that is better for the job. Get a great resume. All it says is I love you in print, And honestly, that's enough. I don't know where she got the paper from. Her stationery is exquisite. Hi, Tiny. Giannis. We're done. The party's over. We can stop now. Eight Australian nine. Wasn't the good currency, but it's still currency. Technically still worth the Ossipies, I think. Chinese trial, do I want to do free crafting? Thing. I'll do a little bit. You know what? I'll I'll end it with this safe house. We're gonna do this crafting and then we'll call it. I I trust my manager's advice above everything. She says we should I'm gonna grab a tempering catalyst. I prefer to have like an like a full set of four to put on there, but I don't have it. So. Okay. Oh, not you.
That actually turned out pretty good. Yeah, that actually turned out pretty good. I'm surprised. Okay, that was entirely accidental. Uh, let's find out what this is. Oh my gosh, it's worth an entire four chaos. So excited. Skill point will go in a place that does a thing. Yay. Four entire chaos. Yeah. I'm almost out of porn scrolls. Oh gosh. Well, thank you all for coming to this very successful eight year HRT anniversary stream. Thank you so much. This is a very important day for me. And I'm also very happy that this stream went off without a hitch, unlike the last stream, which uh had more hitches than a pickup truck, which is one. And I guess there was only one hitch, so I guess that works. Uh, for any vehicle... No, 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 we're not following that train of thought. <laughs> that will last uh, last an hour. And yes, it is, Han. Thank you so much for coming. Everyone who's here and has been here, I appreciate you very much. I This would not be as good of an occasion without you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more content, I am attempting to keep up with the VODs, but I have been behind. I have fixed that, and you can see our VOD content on at Black Hat Streams in the description on the Twitch channel. And also at Black Hat Studio, which is our Highlights channel, which you can see in the description of this video, or in the description of the Twitch channel. And you can watch us at 2 p.m., EST, 5 p.m. EST, Tuesdays and Thursdays, on Twitch, in the Twitch channel that you are watching currently, and or in the description of the YouTube VOD that you are looking at. Thank you all so much, and I hope you have a great night.